I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about three memories that you have on social media. That feeling that you're feeling right now, that feeling is the exact reason why I ended up deleting social media and not going back to it. My first time deleting social media was in February of 2020 and it was very much an impulse decision, but there was a voice in my head telling me that I needed to do that. And so I did, and my life has not been the same since then. Now, before I deleted social media, I was a very avid Twitter user. I was also very active on Instagram and Snapchat, and I was even using TikTok every now and then. And I deleted all of them at the same time. Now, once I deleted Twitter and Snapchat, I never went back to them. Okay, so since February 2020, I haven't really been back on either one of those apps. Now, with Instagram, I did end up coming back to Instagram in summer last year and I quickly realized that that was a mistake. And I deleted that again back in September of 2020, and that following month, my channel doubled in size. And that's no coincidence. Okay, one thing that I've identified is that every time I delete social media, great things start to happen to me. And like I said, that's no coincidence. That's no accident. Okay, social media is holding a lot of people back. Social media can be your greatest resource, but it can also be your greatest distraction. And this is why you have to learn to produce more than you consume. If you are going to be active on social media, you need to be producing content as opposed to consuming content. I'm not saying that you can't consume at all, but I am saying that you need to be very selective about what you consume and you need to spend more time producing than consuming. And here's the reason why. Social media is the ultimate time waster. Okay, at the beginning of this video, I had you recall three memories that you have while scrolling through social media. A lot of you probably couldn't even remember what you saw this morning on social media. And I completely understand that feeling. You know, there was a time when I would wake up and immediately get on my phone and get on social media and spend a few hours scrolling through my feed. And I would get out of bed and go eat breakfast. And by the time I finished breakfast, I didn't even remember what I had saw on social media that morning. Okay, and that's when I realized I'm literally wasting my time. Okay, you have to understand that time is the most valuable resource that you can get. You cannot get more time. Once it's gone, it is gone. We are working with a finite amount of time. So for you to waste it on something like social media, for you to waste it looking at other people's lives as opposed to tending to your own business, that is where a lot of people allow social media to become a distraction as opposed to a resource. Now, I'm giving you all the free game to become a full-time social media influencer. Okay, you just have to spend more time producing than consuming. It is that simple. If you do that, then you are going to find your audience in due time. But if you're spending all of your time consuming, you're going to be wasting precious time that could be spent producing. Now, in addition to being a really big time waster, social media is also very, very dangerous for your mental health. And the reason why is because of mindless consumption. Okay, this is especially prevalent on things like Twitter and Instagram and TikTok, where you're exposed to a lot of different things in a very short amount of time. And unlike YouTube, which I don't consider YouTube to be social media, although YouTube can be a big time waster in its own right, I don't consider YouTube to be social media because you have control over what you see. You don't have to watch a video that you see on your homepage. When you're on TikTok going through your For You page, you are exposed to a lot of content very, very quickly, okay? And what you have to understand is that you are absorbing this content into your subconscious mind, okay? Seeing something and then forgetting about it consciously doesn't mean that you're forgetting about it subconsciously. And your subconscious mind is where you attract your reality. That's how you create your reality from your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind controls the actions that you take. Case in point, advertisements. Okay, why do you think companies pay so much money to put advertisements on your home pages on social media? It's because they know that you're going to see those things and they're going to be implanted into your subconscious mind. And eventually, at some point or another, with enough advertising and enough infiltration into your subconscious mind through subliminals and billboards and things like that, you are going to be more likely to consume their product. But it's the same way with social media. If you're consuming tweets, for example, if you're consuming a high volume of tweets, just because you're not reading them fully doesn't mean that your mind, your subconscious mind, 
is not consuming that message. Okay, in the same way that you are consuming the advertisements, you are consuming the messages that you see on your home pages. And you have to be very mindful of that because a lot of times the people that are spending all of their time on social media, they're spreading negativity. Okay, a lot of times there is toxicity on social media. Social media is very, very toxic, especially things like Twitter. Okay, and anybody who is very active on Twitter, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Twitter can be very, very toxic in the sense that there is a lot of groupthink. With things like cancel culture and, you know, all of this other stuff, you know, it's all about judging other people and condemning individuality and projecting insecurities onto others. You know, Twitter is a very toxic place and you have to be mindful of that because if you're scrolling through your feed, especially first thing in the morning, okay, you're waking up, getting on Twitter, and reading all of these negative tweets and seeing all of this news that you really don't even need to know about, truth be told, what do you think is going to happen to your mind over time when you do that? How do you think that's going to shape your perception of the world around you and thus the actions that you take? You know, you're going to be responding to things out of fear as opposed to out of faith. And that's going to reflect itself in your reality. Okay, when I got off of Twitter and when I got off of other social media as well, the first thing that happened was a shift in mindset. I started to think differently. I started to think for myself. I stopped inheriting other people's thoughts and I started to create my own thoughts and I started to develop my own thought patterns and I was able to rebuild my thought patterns from the ground up with a positive foundation. And that positive foundation is what's gotten me to where I am right now. You know, if you're watching this video, the chances are you have big dreams for yourself. You know, anyone who watches my channel, probably has pretty big dreams and is seeking wisdom and knowledge and inspiration along their path to their dreams. I'm telling you right now that social media is probably the biggest thing that is holding a lot of people back. And I know that most people try to make all of the excuses that they can to stay on social media because I was that person. You know, I would say, oh, I need to talk to my friends on social media. Okay, I need to stay active on social media to promote my YouTube channel. But truth be told, social media only held me back in those regards. Okay, social media only made me talk to people that weren't actually my friends, people that I'm never going to meet in real life or people that I'm never actually going to talk to like that. Now that I'm off social media, I can give more attention to my actual friends and focus on the people that really truly care about me and my well-being. Because if somebody cares about your well-being, they're not going to rely on social media to communicate with you. You know, they'll find another means of communication. Another thing that keeps a lot of people trapped on social media is the fear of missing out. You're not going to miss anything by deleting social media. Okay, the reason why I know that is from the beginning of this video. You more than likely don't have many memories scrolling through your feed. So what is there to miss? Okay, if you're not making memories, what are you doing? You're wasting your time. Okay, you're not missing out on anything. You're missing out on other people's lives. You need to be focused on your own life. This is why so many people in my generation are depressed. You know, they're focusing on other people's lives more than their own, and they're letting their own life slip away from them. They're losing themselves in the opinions of other people and in the quest for validation.